So now that we have our Python environment and VS Code set up, let's quickly build a really small project and understand how to build an API within Python. Now, why are we even learning about APIs in Python? Because as a data scientist or as a, as a general software developer, building an API is one of those fundamentals that is needed so that whatever work that you're doing is much more accessible to the public or even internally within your team. So imagine you build a data science model and you want to use that in production. Now, of course, there are various services that allow you to do that instantly, but it's very, very important, especially if you are a one person team to know how to optimize on pricing and test something really, really quickly. That's where building these APIs, putting them in a Docker container, hosting them up in various cloud services is really, really handy skill. And one of the fundamental skills that is needed in today's data science and software world, because writing software building a data science model is really easy nowadays because of chat GPT, GitHub Copilot and other tools like those. Where we want to build our skills is how to bring all these tools together so that we have something that is usable and useful to other people. So let's quickly come into this website called Fast API. Now Fast API is one of those packages which makes building APIs in Python really, really straightforward and easy. It used to be dominated by this tool called Flask, but nowadays Fast API is really, really quick in terms of getting us up and started. So if I come into the installation section, we have this installation command, which is pip install Fast API. Now we haven't covered what pip is. So pip is a package manager, if you will. So many people out there build libraries and release them out for public to use. Right, So there are open source, closed source, and other libraries that people build. And one such library is this Fast API. And a way to get access to Fast API is using this command called pip, which is a package manager, Python package manager. And when we do that, this library will get installed within your environment. So this is where having a virtual environment is really, really useful, because now this Fast API, along with its version, Everything is downloaded into that environment. And if you share this code with someone else, they'll have the same version that they'll be working with. So it's like replicating your environment in another person's environment because you're using this virtual environment. So we'll copy this command and come to VS Code and we will do pip install fast API. So this is installing our package. Now, if I come to the website again, and if I come to example, so here we have a really straightforward example of how all this works. Now, before even talking about what all these lines mean, uh, let me just copy this and run this so that you have a good understanding of uh, what the output is going to be like. So I've just clicked on this button to copy to the clipboard, and it also says create a file called main.py. So let's do that now. So it looks like this is installed, our package. So I'll come in here and click on this button, which is which creates a new file, and I call this main.py. And let me just make this a bit smaller, and I'll paste in the code that I got from that website. So we have all this, and before even explaining these things, let me just run this. And if I jump back into my website, there is a way to run this as well. So it says run the run the server with this command. So let me just copy all this come back to VS Code and I'll paste this in here and press enter. So a couple of things happened when I pressed enter. So you'll see there is an address that we get here now and it says UVI con running on this uh, location. So let me just copy this or you can do a control click on this. I'll open a new tab and press enter. Now you see there is something called as hello world here. So it looks like it's working. Now I can come in here to stop this server from running. I'll press control C. So that should shut down our application, right? It says shutting down and does the shutdown. Now, if I come into my web browser and refresh this page, it says the page can't be reached. So we, we know that that page was coming from our command over here. So let me just run this again. So now I've, uh, started my server again and if i come to my browser refresh this page we see hello world and you'll see here that hello world is coming from this section over here and this is our root and we'll talk about all these things in in, in a bit there's also something else i can try there is also item id that we can pass to this uh, url so let me just copy this so it is forward slash items i can do forward slash items and one 
So we see we get some of that output saying item ID is one and Q is null, right? So if you got this far, so congratulations, you've just built a simple API, even though we don't understand all the bits and pieces of this API, soon this will all make sense. So you can imagine instead of going to this hello world route that we are at, instead of going to this hello world route that we're at, it could be a machine learning model where you pass in a data and then you get back, let's say a recommendation or a forecast. And these are the things that are much more valuable than building the model. And I'm not saying building model is invaluable. They are very, very valuable. But all these things like the skills surrounding building models and analyzing data is a key in today's day and age where ChatGPT and Copilot and other tools are really taking over software development.